morning, happy Sunday, February 25th to you all. Hope you're all well and good today on this nice warm day here in New York. Hope you're all doing well today. Let's recap a small bit from yesterday. So we had um, the Saudi Cup. was a very brilliant race to watch. It was very nice to watch. Uh, Wider Barrow didn't look comfortable all through the race. Irad Ortiz was constantly trying to push this horse in to do things, but uh, Wider Barrow was not having any of it. Probably got travel sickness or something along the way. Just didn't have it in it this way. It was a long season for Wider Barrio, you know. It takes a lot out of them horses going that distance, travel wise and all. But I tell you one good story that came out of it. Senior Buscador. Wow, what a great ride by Junior Alvarado as well. Just got up just when he needed it and won very well, to be honest with you. Um, delighted for Junior. He's a very underrated jockey and he's he's got some nice pots this year, so he's filling his bank up very well this year. God bless him. Anyway, close to the home yesterday, we had Dr. Ardito as well, very, ran very poorly as well. Manny Franco was out the back of the TV for most of this race and um, did well to actually get third, to be honest. Uh, was a far, far third, but um, just didn't actually get going at all, really. Came out of the stalls, looked to sleep. Manny Franco was constantly squeezing all the way around and was getting nothing in response. So that's a disappointing one to put a line through for Dr. Edito. Maybe come back to something else after a bit of a rest. Oakland Park, we had Al's Beach as well. Another one fell out of the stalls. Was out the back of the TV for most of the race. And um, never got going. Al's Beach. That was probably the most disappointing race that horses ran. Maybe didn't like the kick back in behind, but uh, very disappointing. Was a big price, 14 to 1, but I expected it to do a lot better than that. And then we had Time for Truth, who was actually a non-runner in the end. Scratch didn't actually run. So um, I did put up a video later on in the evening at uh, Tuffway Park. I was watching the racing there, and uh, I was going through the form of some horses there. And I seen uh, in race seven a horse called Chop Chop. Brad Cox had two horses in the race. One was uh, favoured and one was second favourite. Alex Conception had won on the two horses, but chose the favourite. I think it was Flashy Jam was the name of the horse. But our Chop Chop did the business for us. Uh, Lou, Lou and Marciado did the business for us as well, 5-2. to two. I hope you guys watched my video. I got some money on. It was a kind of a late video to put up, but I just had to do it. I had a good bet in it as well, try and get some money back yesterday, you know. The gambler's course, chasing the dream. And finally we got some money back, 5-2. to two. So it was nice to get that one up to finish on a good note after a very frustrating day, to be honest with you. So we have a few selections for today. Let's get right to it. Race 7, Aqueduct. You have a horse called Dr. Blute. This horse has switched, switched tables from Safi Joseph to Chad Brown. Has been off the track for over 435 days. Uh, has good good back form here. This horse hasn't run against this level before, so should be winning today. I think this is a confidence booster from Chad Brown uh, to come back and get his win straight away. So 5-2 to two I got this morning. Race 7, Aqueduct, Dr. Blute. Moving on to Gulfstream Park, race 8 is a horse here, Spirit Animal. Won by Nick, last time out, beat Conglomerate is the name of the horse. Bit of a tongue twister for you guys. This horse runs very late. This horse has to sit out the back and it comes with one run and it's sustained. So if he gets the same trip today, he should very much win for me, my books here. 3 to 1, Spirit Animal. Won by Nick last time out and I think there's more to come from this horse. In Gulfstream race 8. And then in Oakland Park, race 7, 20 to Park is the name of the horse. One over six furlongs on debut by nine lengths on debut. Step, stepping up in trip here. Carries a light weight of eight stone, one pound. I think that's a very nice weight to carry on your second time out. And I think at nine to four should be thereabouts come the finish line. So at nine to four, I got 20 to Park, Oakland, race 7. And then in Santa Anita, race 9, my good old buddy Mike Smith stays around for a mount here in Ice Dancing, is the name of the horse. This horse has gone in under the radar, I believe, in this race. Uh, good value on this horse, 5-1. to one. Did run in the grade 1 last time out. Was beat very well, but uh, this this 6 four lungs might be a bit sharp. But the reason I'm, I'm sticking with this horse is I think they're going to go very, very fast here. I think they're going to cut each other's throats in this 6 four long race. And I think this horse wins over 7 or 8. Could, just if Mike Smith can hold on to him long enough and stay out of trouble early, I think that he could come and pick up all the pieces later on. That's my reading into this race uh, for Richard Mandela here. 
and I think Mike Smith could get the winner today in this race. I, ho I just hope they go very fast early. I know after first two, three, four longs if Mike Smith's going to be playing the cards late. They have to go fast. There's a lot of speed in this race. That's the reason why I'm picking Ice Dancing. He wins over further, so hopefully he can just pick up the pieces late on. At 5-1, to one, you can't get uh, better odds today on that horse. Has some very nice back form as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you all have a great day today. I hope you all enjoy your Sunday with the family. Do whatever you want to do. I'm in two minds whether to go to Aqueduct or stay at home and watch a bit of racing. We have to see what we're going to do. Figure it out as the day goes on. Hope you all have a blessed day and I hope you all enjoy your day and hopefully we can get some wins along the way. God bless and we'll see you back here next Saturday. Bye-bye.